building 2021. Congratulations, first Thank of you. all. You look stunning. The hair, the bikini, all of it, nails. <laughs> what was your drive to get into this? To get into bodybuilding, initially, I wanted to have children and I do have a 13 year old. Well, he'll be 13 on the 20th, but um, we tried for more children and we had our son Levi and Levi passed away. And I was told then I wouldn't be able to have more children. So my life turned from having the expectation of being that mom, soccer mom. It's, it's what I wanted, it's what I dreamed of. Your life doesn't get to go the way you choose. And then that turned me to having to make a decision to doing something that was constructive, healthy, and pushed me to reach goals, not just stay stagnant in something. And what other way to do that than to sign up for competitions where you're pushing yourself to be better and better and you're meeting new people and you're having relationships. And I've, I've built amazing relationships from people that I've met at shows and you know you just you don't get more community than people who all have a story of why they struggle yes exactly and I think this gives so much life and so much family and I think that's something that when people look at bodybuilders sometimes they don't realize that you know I've had people tell me before well they're just this beautiful body and they had a beautiful body and I'm like no it, it takes work for each and every one of them. This is not, a, you know, this is not just there. Mm -hmm. And so I, I know that going through a trial and tribulation, right, and such a hard one, is something that a lot of every person struggles with. Right? Um, so many friends who are losing currently, right, or can't get pregnant, or whatever the case. And so I appreciate your sharing your story on that. And I'm sure this is for him, right? This is for me. And it's for my son, Kaden. Baseball tournament this weekend. Yeah. So he's very athletic. He does lots of sports, and which is funny because I come from no background of really? any athletic. You don't anything. look it. You don't look it at all. Yeah. So he wasn't able to, but he's been on FaceTime with Daddy, watching yes. Mom, yes. and um, he's been here. He's, he's been in my heart. I've cried all weekend because yeah. he hasn't been here. But yeah. tomorrow we get to leave, and we're going to the second day of his baseball tournament. Surprise him. Okay. So it's about an hour away. Yeah, it's not, not that far. far. Not too far at all. Um, but yeah, and my husband, like, he has never once questioned me on the decision I made to use bodybuilding as my healing. And and I mean that healing. Yeah, it is learning, very much as healing. Learning about myself, even stuff that I didn't know before, and being able to dedicate my energy and my effort and my time and my mind and my focus on something that doesn't leave me in grief for the rest of my life that I can channel that and have people who love me, not just my family and friends who love me through this, but also all these people love each other. We all struggle together. You can't not love somebody that you're struggling together with for uh, you know any reason. Even if it was you know running a race together, you're both struggling to get through it together. You share a love, you share a love of the sport, and that's family. Athletics so much is you're all in this struggle and this fight together that you just want to lift each other up and I think that's what this GBO family is. It's this, yes. you know, I, I heard some of you saying like it's just us lifting each other up and I think you nailed it with that and I'm so proud of you and I think you're something you. so excited to see you tomorrow and I'm really so proud of this trophy that you're oh, yes. and your title and I think it's so incredible and I appreciate you sharing your story with us. Congratulations, you did an amazing job today. Thank you so much. Do, do a little spin so they can see this fabulous body. Yeah.